Hi there. So how many of you guys have had these big, fat, chunky goals and dreams that you're looking at in your life and you're like, ha, ah, I'm gonna gun for them. And you are intelligent enough to get them. You're smart enough to get them. Beautiful enough to get them. Got everything in a bunch and a lot of your own skill and talent to get them. And yet somehow, somehow they get thwarted. You're a child of God and you're like, but I'm supposed to get everything I ask for in prayer. How many of y'all can relate? I personally wanted to be a mom by the age of 30. I'm 38, 38 years old and I still have not born children. I'm yet to get married. This is a Jesus ring. And I'm like, but father, I am a good mom. I love children. You've seen me with them. Why haven't you given me children? On top of that, I'm hardworking. Why haven't you maintained my career? Why have you allowed me to lose all of these things? Look at the world today. I'm broody. I want children. It is such a difficult place to raise kids as a Christian woman that you can see why it is that the Lord would cause me to wait on him for as long as he has made me wait because he's fixing the climate of the world right now. So it's not so insufferable for children to grow up in. So it's not busy shoving down the throats of children. Bad ideologies. In the United States, which is the world superpower, they've got this woke agenda. And in it, they're busy teaching children sexuality in a way that is basically the tantamount of pornography. They are hypersexualizing our children. And we all know how the U.S. loves to export their culture to other nations. Well, irrespective of this ridiculous woke movement wreaking havoc in the lives of parents in the US and where women and men that have kids are called domestic terrorists, despite that, there is such a backlash and a push against this narrative. But if you go to universities, you go to the street and interview regular Janes and Joes on the street about what they think about the far left, they will tell you they've basically gone berserk, they've gone psycho. There was a time when this appeared to be just getting taken in people's stride. But now, it is so disgusting and it's leaving such a bad taste in people's mouth that it looks like it's being turned around. Essentially, the Lord made me wait 10 years, 10 years, just a little bit, God, will, Emma, wait. He made me wait so that I could give birth to children in an era or a time where there was enough resistance against rebellious birds, <laughs> where there is resistance against rebellious regimes, rebellious narrative, so that my kids can have a shot at loving the Lord and not living in a crazy, psychotic looking society. You never really know why God is making you wait. You might have the skill, you might have the beauty, you might have the body, you might have the desire, you might have the eggs that are super healthy because you're in your 20s, but then he will give you a baby like Sarah at 90. Why? Because that was the opportune time and you will see it. The loving Christ name. Bye-bye.